<sighs> Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And we've gone through the day hey, learning about a certain, certain uh, NFL player saying a certain quote unquote word. And in good old uh, Philadelphia. And good old. Yeah, and, um. Uh, I've watched an episode of Familiar Faces over again, which is pretty good. And one of my top video, one of my videos, my Anita Kidnapped by Anita video has reached 192 vids already. So, I'm doing pretty good today. I would like to talk, I will say, I would like to talk about the Philadelphia player, but I decided not today. Mostly because it deals with racism, and as you know, I've made a video about me discussing the question of racism. And I decided that's really not a very good video, and I personally apologize. Is for it. Not because. Sorry. Not because it's absolutely wrong. But because I don't understand much about it. And I kind of feel as a person when you talk about serious issues like that, you should know as much as possible. I know my video. I want my videos to be as offensive and awe-strikingly attention or uh, groundbreaking as possible, but I also want to inform and teach the public how to behave in society. So, yes, in a way, I kind of feel like I'm sorry if you are, if you have watched that video and were offended by it. Also, I'm saying this because I have been having to deal with a... I've had to hear comments myself that were offensive to me as a black person, or at least they're supposed to be offensive to me. I don't really find them all that offensive, I just think they're stupid, but nonetheless, it's perpetuating a stereotype, and I don't appreciate it. And if you get what I mean. And I would like that to stop. <sighs> However, I would like to talk about someone else that I've been, that's been giving me a bit of an issue. And I hope she doesn't mind me saying her username. And if I do use her username, I don't want any of you of whom are watching this video to go storming her YouTube page and she posting anything, okay? However, this video is in reference to this person. She's a huge Taylor Swift fan, and I have never encountered a Swifty before, but I'm not a big fan of Taylor Swift, as you know from my previous videos. But this woman took it upon herself, as I've said in other videos, was upon herself to correct me on certain behaviors towards Miss Smith. I mean, Swift, whatever. But, I have done the wrongful thing of, well, trolling her right back. Basically, I saw, you know, how YouTube pages work, you know, I went to my dashboard thing, so that little tiny square 
and at the bottom that so showed all the notifications and I clicked on her name and she and I noticed that she had been watching a video titled I believe fangirls are stupid and I wish I could have watched the video because I probably would agree with every word of it and sadly I probably fall into the same category but at the same time, the reason why I think I did it, and I'll be honest, because if you find out from her, it, for me, it was really out of spite, and I apologize for that thoroughly. However, there's another right that needs to be wronged, and I'm going to deliver you here that video that I promised I was going to about this person because mostly I hate to bring it to you Taylor Swift -y. I'm about to pull her up Taylor Swifty 13 who was so kind enough to try to prove me wrong Is <sighs> each time okay. we posted comments to each other, and I'll be honest, what I feel that she does or how she behaves is much like well any other. Possibly, you know, teenage girl, fan girl, acts like whenever you make a point about her favorite, favorite singer that she just can't get enough of. And don't get me wrong, I've been a fan girl myself. So before I do his crushing blow, I'll say. My fandom is towards Harry Potter. Um, I probably say I love almost every single uh, alternative band out there known to man. And I don't think they're all that bad. I think some of them have some you know, musical issues, but I think you know, I enjoy them because, well, I think I was going through my said emo phase, whatever that is is in our society. Yeah. However, I'm going to read some of her comments because I personally find them to be funny. And I'm thinking I might post them in the video just, you know, so you will know what I said. But as she says, and like I said, since I'm new to making videos like this, please do not follow or look this person up on YouTube. Because I really don't want anyone storming to her and saying nasty things. Okay? Alright. The first one I got was... No. I don't. I have Taylor to look up to. As you don't, which understands why you're rude and immature. Sorry, I had to do something for the voice. I can make it a little bit more obnoxious, but you get the point. And I just love how uh, fanboys and fangirls have this lack of ability when it comes to proper grammar. And you heard it all. Like I said, I'll post it, it up in the video. It'll be there, probably for a few seconds, and then, but like I said, I don't get it either. And then next comment she made, and now mind you, you're only getting half of what she actually said, so, yeah, 
if you want to see this video, I have a reference down below. And you can look at it, and you can say, oh, please. And you should such a little brat. Oh, and I don't mean to sound shallow, but I have collected over 43 new subscribers, and I'm quite proud of that. And I thought I would never even get subscribers on, on my channel. Oh. Sorry, my browser is becoming an interesting thing. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Okay. I guess I must have said something like... Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I when I mentioned how Taylor Swift has had... has dated older men and especially younger men like Austin Mahoney. I swear to God, some people are dumb. And when it comes to the stars, and I won't say I'm any less like that, but she says, um, LFO. Oh, she's 23. She shows how much you know, dumbass. It's oh, sorry. I stated it wrong. But it doesn't make it any less, any less obnoxious. Anyways. Let me say it over again. Shows how much as your dumbass knows was her dating life is all her business. Yeah, let's go back to the original comment where this girl has had a good role model. You would think a good role model would bother with teaching her proper grammar and yes. and how to act like a decent young lady. I mean I won't say I wasn't in there cat fighting with her, but seriously, show some class, ma'am. Show you some class. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then I mentioned something about, in a sarcastic way, as if I cared that she is a, she's like this. I stated that she was, that Taylor had recently become a female, a cougar lately, and she was like, damn right. Oh yeah, that's something we should support in our society. A young woman, and regardless of age, should become a cougar after anyone. I mean, not that I don't find younger boys attractive as at times, but at least they're within my age range. Like, if I'm 22, or if I was 22, do you really think I'd be going after a 15 year old? or a 16-year-old, or a 19-year-old of any age, I'm thinking, he's already off limits. Bye. Bye. Uh, of course, she goes on to call me things like, say things like, LOL, she has only dated six to seven boys and donates to charity. Plus, makes Christian songs. Passion tag, idiot. Again, back to that whole, uh, better, good role model. Seriously. I had better role models. And I'll definitely say they weren't super interesting, but they weren't what I like to call a What's the word? What, what is the word? I, I want to say it, but I know I will get in a lot of trouble if I do. So, I'll skip over it. I'm trying to cuss less, especially when it comes to mm, <clears throat> women like this. Uh, 
and of course I brought something about Britney Spears, in which she took the wrong way, because I was actually trying to sympathize with her on the level that I understood that she would be all crazy and wild like this, or I've seen it before, I know how some people act when they don't understand that their fandom or fan rage just get a little out of hand. And, and I was thinking, yeah, this is just like Britney Spears. This is just like any other dumb boy band, you know, craze. It blows over, but God, it's pretty ugly for a very long time. <laughs> but I'm not going to say what she said because let's, hey, she wasn't exactly nice. Oh, and of course. She goes on to say, and I was saying like a valley girl way because I feel like this woman is going to be the next dumb valley girl stereotype. No. And I, I think I said in reference to something else. In fact, let me look the video up because I think I need that in order to figure out what I said. And no offense. It's not that I'm against that part, it's just people in the society tend to get on my nerves. Even if I could very well be a, a complete idiot. <laughs> okay, I found the comments. Okay, here we are. Okay, it says, it says, no, like in 20 to 30 years, I'll have my own children and like, I'll bring them up to know what, you know, that Taylor is an excellent role model. Uh -huh. I'll tell them all the magic Swifties and Taylor and have like and still do to make like in Taylor's long lived song huh, she made for her Swifties. Oh Oh my god. My gut and himmel. That was stupid. That has got to be the stupidest comment I've ever got on any on any video I've made so far. And I'm sure it won't be the last, but you gotta give me a break. This, you know, I'd like to give, I think she also said in one of those comments that I didn't have any role models growing up, and I'm going to name a few, and they're all going to be female. Penny from Inspector Gadget totally kicks ass. She helps her uncle and solves most of the mysteries, not if all. Well, uh, Powerpuff Girls, not only are they six years old, they're actually a whole lot smarter than this woman, but and together, and they're just cartoons. Um, next would be Buffy. Now, I didn't watch Buffy, I wasn't allowed to watch Buffy at the time, but, at the same time, still kicked ass. As, that's why, that's why, girls to look up to that are far more, much better than this, than, how this little Taylor Swift band betrays Taylor Swift. <laughs> Would be. Ugh. Sorry. I know most people don't look up to Shanae O'Connor that much. And for good reason. And they might have their points. For not with the answer. Oh, yes. And. I think the Dot Goslin. I know she's just a little cute girl, but you know she works well with Darkwing. 
which is awesome. So, yeah. Oh, back to the Sinead O'Connor. I sort of like the fact that she has her convictions. I mean, I didn't say she was a perfect one, and no one said you had to pick a nice girl like Taylor. You know, she's completely mindless. No offense, most of her music just is. Sorry if I piss off any more Taylor Swift fans. But, hey, at least you can be featured in the next video. So, so how about that? However, I think Taylor, her Swifty 13, herself, you know, she used this word constantly, constantly, that I'm immature. Yeah, honey, call me when you grow up, because, first of all, oh, yeah, that's right, another thing she tends to go on about is that she's defending Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, and that she needs to be defended. The woman, uh, the woman probably doesn't even know I made this video, and yes, I posted on one of her, you know, music videos, that's probably why I called the hate down here, you know. I called down the thunder, so I deserve a part way to these, these comments. However, it's like, if you're gonna defend, your opinion on something like this. All you have to say is, you know, why did you put this on her video? I mean, you don't have to like her, but why are you so angry with her? And I would honestly just come out and say it. Part way I hate her because she's so bland. And you know what I hate on another thing I do not like about her is she she has this facade that she's perfect. And in reality, she isn't... She's not perfect. She just likes everyone to think she is so she can screw them over. And I don't like that in a female character at all. That still portrays that stereotype that all women are bad. Okay? Doesn't matter. And no matter how good their intentions are, or happen to be, they are still evil in the background. So, that's why I don't like her. I don't like the fact that she, another thing I don't like is she's going out with Austin Mahoney, or, you know, trying to look for, like, her next boyfriend, and she's kind of a nasty, horrible, despicable way. And... Don't get me wrong, I'm a tomboy, okay? I am, and always will be, a tomboy. I find... boys... to be fun to be around. However, I would never mess up with their- or I, I hope I would not go out of my way to break their hearts. Um, I also just think, overall, Taylor's music just sucks. And maybe that's hatred, that was created by my other favorite head viewer, Todd the Shadows. <laughs> I don't think of him as a he man woman hater, because he does. I don't think he hates women. He just doesn't like Taylor Swift or her bland, dumb music that people think, and especially girls like this who are just like, oh, she's such a good role model. In my opinion, folks, if she was a good role model, I don't think her first thing she would do would be to hate on men. Okay? She wouldn't act like she was completely perfect, that this was the first time she was kissed. No. She would probably say, No, this is one of the first times I was kissed, and I hugged, and I got together with someone. And then as her music went on, she grew up and said, um, this isn't the first time. I'm you idiots. I've had multiple times of being kissed and hugged, and I've learned something about men over my short lifetime. Is that they like to use women in their bodies against them, against women. Because they think that first touch, you know, that we've never had sex before, that all women are virgins, who are just waiting for them to, you know, 
flat one, if you get what I mean. To use a lesser, we you have know, better, less better phrase for it. However, that to me would be a strong female role model. Someone just doesn't put up with that nonsense and goes, "Look, I've had enough. I don't want this. I don't like that behavior," and sticks up for herself, rather than just being like, "Oh, I'm going to coddle those girls who get bullied after school." Oh, I'm gonna feel sorry for them. If you want that, you can listen to music like new. Well, not new kids on the block. They're not exactly that. Um, Simple Plan. I know it sounds lame, but I think Simple Plan would be more of your alley of no one cares about me, and at least it's gender, you know, gender neutral, where it doesn't matter which sex you are, and they don't exactly pick a side. They just say, eh, you know what, I'm not the well-liked kid to school, even though I have friends and, you know, we don't hang out much. Yeah. That's just my personal perspective, okay? You don't have to agree with me. That's why we have comment section down below, and you can, you know, you can type away on your keyboard. And tell me exactly where to, well, where to shove it. <laughs> and I will tell you, I will either try to be kind of, and most of the time in the comic section, I am a coddling person. I don't really care what people think. But at the same time, I try not to drive away people who have comments because, well, that's the point. <laughs> Anyways. If you wish to follow me and uh, criticize me and stuff like that in different places, mind you, uh, there are places I can go that you're not going to like. Follow me on my Tumblr and my Twitter and check out my new fan page. It'll only be up for a little bit, and I hope you guys enjoy it, but, you know, it's fan fiction, just as a warning. And, I best get to bed, because I'm starting to feel the sleep vapors just pulling me after having to read these mindless comments. I swear. Ugh, oh, swiftly, swiftly put me to bed. Hmm. Anyways, good night, or actually... Yeah, good night, everybody. Is Emily O'Malley? Fading out.